Skull, you savages. So I'm going to talk about body count because it's funny as hell to me that everybody gets in an uproar about body count between men and women, particularly young women. I, I did some other videos about it. Yeah, there's all kinds of science in there about bonding and chemistry and good sex, bad sex, and why emotions are involved for women and why men can detach. Hell, men are so emotional now, I'm not even sure they can detach from from having sex. <laughs> at least when I'm looking at personal experience, there's enough emotional men out there that they have sex with beautiful women and they kind of get bonded like instant fucking-taneously. <laughs> Excuse my French. But what, what do I think about this body count for men and women? Um, if you're a guy, follow your instinct, man. You know, <laughs> and your instinct's going to be is to throw down as much as you can. Okay, great. Go do it. Uh, you want to have a wife? Well, that's fine. You need to get out there. You need to get experience. Use red pill principles to screen and to understand what a woman's intrinsic sexual behaviors are. And realize that there is some deviation that exists on the outside and look for them. And uh, go from there. Look at her actions. You know, her actions will speak much, much louder than any words. So, regardless of what she says about her body count, whether it's there, whether it's not, just watch what she does. Watch what she does with her girlfriends. All will be revealed. Women will tell on themselves. They can't help it. And it's a beautiful thing, man. Uh, emotional men will also tell on themselves. And it's a beautiful thing. Uh, you just got to be patient, look, listen, and enjoy the moments you have with them. That's for sure. Now, guys always pin me down, well, how many bodies is, is too many, Thor? You know, I can't find any virgins today. Look, in the West, sex is much more open. It's much more encouraged. You know, I come from a culture at least two generations back that had a severe population decline. And in this population decline, it was actually ordered at one point several hundred years ago in this nation uh, that each woman would receive a subsidy if she attempted six live births. Yeah, no shit. It was uh, Iceland. It was devastated. You can look it up. Out of that it became a really interesting tradition amongst men and women. And what had happened was young Icelanders, even when they date today, will have sex. That's how strongly they believe that sexual compatibility is to building an emotional bond with each other. If it doesn't work quickly, they should move on. Now, I find that really interesting. I don't have a full set of opinions on that yet. But what it does tell me is that not everybody has the answers. And a lot of things have been tried. So if you're in the West and you're sticking to semi-traditional beliefs and you're very concerned about a woman having too many partners too early and that she is going to lack the ability to emotionally bond to you and stick through the hard times, I get it. There's enough corollary evidence to say that's probably likely. And with the divorce rates and who initiate divorces, particularly if it's an educated woman, They'll initiate 90% of the time. You have to be very careful in your screening. So you're going to pin RP Thor down for a number. I'll just say this in regards to you sweet ladies out there uh, and body count. If you're going to ask me, does it matter? Well, maybe. And why? Well, maybe again. And if there's really a number that somebody has to have, let's just say this cats have nine lives. Till next time, see you on the dragon ship. Skull.